Hello and welcome to SMS Projects, I'm Stu Stones. Recently I built a CentOS virtual machine on my Unraid server with the intention of passing through physical SCSI cards and LTO drives so it can perform backups. So in this video, I'll finish what I started. First of all, just like a science lesson, a bit of theory. There are three ways to pass through physical hardware to a VM in Unraid as follows. The first way is to have Unraid Auto detect the hardware. This works for devices such as USB drives and graphics cards. These devices are shown in the web console so you can allocate them to a VM. Unfortunately PCIe devices such as my SCSI card can't be passed through using this method. The second way is editing the config file of a VM directly. To accomplish this you have to add the hardware bus addresses direct into the virtual machine's XML file. This works for devices such as TV tuners and network cards, provided of course they're in their own IO MMU group, but more on that later. The third way is blacklisting the hardware. If you choose this method, the hardware you blacklist won't be usable by the host. This is a little more tricky to set up and requires a reboot, but it does have its advantages. Ultimately, this is the method that will work for my SCSI card, but I want to show you all three in action first. This is the easiest way to pass through simple devices such as USB drives. The biggest disadvantage is the VM has to be off first. So in your Unraid console, ensure your VM is switched off, not paused. Plug your USB flash drive into the host. Edit the config file for the VM and select the USB drive. Save and start your VM. Once your VM has booted, you can use the USB hardware. Obviously this way is easiest as you don't need to edit any config files. The downside however is you do have to shut down your VM to add and remove hardware. There is a way to pass through an entire USB controller to your VM so you can hot plug hardware without shutting down the VM first, but that's for another video. This is where things start to get a little advanced. In Unraid, click Tools and System Devices. What you see here is all the devices in the system. PCI devices at the top, which includes stuff on the motherboard, USB devices at the bottom, so any mice, keyboards or flash drives, and in the middle you'll see what are called IO MMU groups. These are hardware groups which share other common hardware such as PCI hubs or root ports. As a general rule of thumb, devices have to be in their own IO MMU group to be passed through to a VM. I have two PCI devices I like to pass through, one is an Intel NIC, the other is my LSI SCSI card. To find out what group each device is in, I'm going to first search in the list for Ethernet adapters. You'll see I have two, the first being the onboard Broadcom, but the second being the Intel. At the far left it says 0A000, which is the PCI bus number. Under IO MMU groups, look for that bus number, which for me here is group 21. You'll see there are no other devices in group 21, so I'm good to pass that through. Next I'll search for my SCSI card. You'll see here I only have one at PCI bus number 03080. If I do a search for this under IO MMU groups, you'll see it's in group 1, along with a plethora of other devices. Because it's not on its own, I can't pass it through to the VM using this method. But since I can pass through my Intel NIC, I'm going to click VMs and edit the config of my Windows 10 VM. You'll see that under other PCI devices it doesn't show, so click Cancel click the icon again and this time click edit XML. Scroll down to the bottom and just above the closing devices line add the following text. The text will be in the video description. Change the bus and slot numbers to match the PCI device ID you noted earlier. In my case the bus will become 0A and the slot will stay 00. Save your changes. Now if you click the icon for the VM and click edit You'll see the Intel network card now shows at the bottom of the list of hardware. Now if you start your VM, once logged in, you can now see I have two network cards. The first being the virtual adapter and the second being the real physical Intel NIC. That method, once you know how to get the PCIe device IDs, will work for most hardware, including TV tuners, USB controllers and some sound cards. If however your PCIe device is within an IO MMU group with other hardware, you have to go deeper. Do you 
remember my SCSI card? It was within IO MMU Group 1, with a bunch of other devices. So to pass through this to my VM, I need to first blacklist it from the host. There are two ways to blacklist hardware when Linux boots, PCI stub and VFIO PCI. But I'm going to use VFIO PCI as it still allows the hypervisor to access the hardware even if the host can't. Head back to Tools and System Devices, do another search for the hardware, in my case for SCSI card, and make a note this time of the reference in square brackets. This is the hardware ID you need to blacklist. Head to Main, click Flash, and under SysLinux Configuration, add the following text to the first append line right after IOMMU equals PT. VFIO-PCI.IDs, and then the hardware ID from earlier, in my case, 1000 colon 0030. Don't change anything else or you might break your server. Apply the change, click done, stop the array and go for a reboot. Make sure any virtual machines are shut down before you reboot. Once Unraid is back up, start your array, click VMs, edit your VM and I now have the option to add my SCSI card. I'll do this now and start the VM. Once the VM has booted up, if I open Device Manager and under Storage Controllers I have my LSI SCSI adapter. And more importantly, under Tape Drives, I can now see my HP LTO drive. Success! I've shown you now how to pass through hardware in three different ways. At the start of the video I did promise to finish what I started and get my tape drive working in Linux, so here we go. First of all, I'm going to shut down my Windows VM so I can add the SCSI card to my Linux VM. I'll edit the config of the Windows VM first and remove the SCSI card. Then edit the config of the Linux VM to add the SCSI card. Then I'll boot up Linux. Once I'm logged in, I'll check the SCSI card has shown up by running LSPCI, and to my joy in the list is the LSI SCSI card. Linux has the ability to natively read and write tapes without using third-party backup software. After all, a Linux tar file means tape archive. To install the MT, or Magnetic Tape Package on CentOS, run yum install mt-st. This will install a single program which knows how to talk to tape drives. Once done, Get a tape ready. Then run mt f slash dev slash st0 load, which loads a tape into the first SCSI tape drive. And with any luck, the tape should now be ingested. Next, I'm going to run mt f slash dev slash st0 st set options SCSI2 logical, which sets the SCSI options for my drive. Then if I run mt f slash dev slash st0 status, it should report back the status of the tape and the drive. I can now format the tape with mt f slash dev slash st0 arrays. And once that's done, I'll be able to use standard tar commands to archive my stuff onto tape and read back from those tapes within Linux, within a VM, on Unraid, with a physical tape drive. That was three ways to pass through hardware and do something with it in a virtual machine. At the very beginning of my Unraid journey, I said I wanted to replace three PCs. Today I've now replaced my backup server with a VM. The next PC to replace will be my TV server, which has physical hardware in the guise of TV capture cards. I've already started this project, which I'll share with you another day. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bum, 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 tiny pop. Recently I built a CentOS virtual machine on my own RAID server and dropped my piece of paper. Unfortunately PCIe... This is going way too fast.